What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, and my fighters? And when I bright, also known as PT, you don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about some news about Walking Dead animation. What you talking about? Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, the shows, the comics, spinoffs everything related to The Walking Dead. Now we have some news from Robert Kirkman and Scott Gimple about some animation that may be coming to one of the spinoffs or being its own spinoff in The Walking Dead universe. But make sure you stay in the know, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's important to stay in the know. We post videos every day about various Walking Dead content and I don't want you to miss out. Supporting the channel any way that you can, just liking the video, sharing the video, being a subscriber is also important for us to continue on and on and on and on and on. And a big shout Shout out to everybody that supports the channel. We do it for you. We don't do it for the haters. That's for sure. Well, we all know that The Walking Dead came from comics, right? It's a comic first and foremost that turned into a TV show, soon to be hopefully movies. And, you know, it's pretty awesome that the comic stuff is coming to the big screen and the small screen. You know, what really helped The Walking Dead is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And ultimately, some people are wondering, are we going to get some more comic stuff here and there? Well, per comicbook.com, they said this. I will say that one thing I'm looking at hard is animation, Gimple tells THR. I mean, Robert Kirkman, whose comic book Invincible is in production as an animated hour-long drama at Amazon, has a lot of talent around that, so that's one-stop shopping for me. World Beyond co-creator Matt Negretti, and I actually come from animation. We worked initially together in animation back in the day, and then we also went to college together. But I mean, Invincible is going to be a really interesting thing to see. Hour-long animation? And the comic is fun. But it's not a comedy, and it gets super dark and dramatic regularly. So I can't wait for that. And Kirkman might lead the way on that too. It may lead us right back to a Walking Dead animated series. Now, if you saw the little series called The Red Machete, it was good. The Red Machete? It's pretty cool stuff. And it had the whole acting thing with people, and then it went to animation. It just had a little bit of both with live action parts and then followed up by animation. So I could see them doing that for its own series, if not Tales of the Walking Dead. It's actually super tricky for a couple of people who have been doing 16 episodes a season. Even 10 episodes a season was tricky, and this is tricky. But it's a very cool and different challenge that we've had, Gimple explains. And then, no pun intended, but beyond that, already with World Beyond, whether it be certain things that we refer to, whether it be certain characters, whether it even be overall what's cool about Tales of the Walking Dead, there's so many stories that have nothing to do and will never have anything to do with anything we've seen on any of the shows. But on the other hand, there will be characters from the past, from the shows. There'll be characters from the shows present. There will, I hope, to be, in some ways, extensions of the current stories. That in some ways that we can continue stories. Continue some stories of The Walking Dead, some characters in The Walking Dead, Beyond Daryl and Carol, and same for World Beyond. No mention of Fear the Walking Dead, right? But Tales of the Walking Dead is interesting because it could bring characters from the past back into a show or a series. And I love the fact that he said, not everything's going to connect. Stuff will be stories that have nothing to do with the present storyline of anything we've seen before. So not everything's going to connect. I know everybody thinks that this character is this character and that character is that character. And what if this character is that character? What if that character is this character? And what if that character is that character? Not everything connects in the world of The Walking Dead, that's for sure. But if they don't have a couple things, early on, Glenn Ray, that can be animated. Steven Yun can do voiceover work, and I really hope they do that with a lot of characters. Who wouldn't want to see younger Pizza Boy Glenn at the start of the zombie apocalypse? A beta story would be cool. So many things would be cool, but we need a Glenn and an Abraham story for sure. And if they don't do it, they really miss the boat. I don't care about a Lori Grimes story. I don't care about this. I don't care about certain characters at all. Here's Negan, and Negan lives. They need to do that, whether it's Tales of the Walking Dead or its own spinoff or whatever, because that would be awesome to see on so many levels, especially a prequel story and a later story. That's if Negan lives, but I think he will, right? Some people think that he's going to get Rick's comic death, but I doubt it. Now, Clementine is a character from the video games, and people want to see where this character is going, where she's been after the video games. We'll see if there's something to that. Also, The Walking Dead Deluxe, which is basically the comics in color. They came out recently with issue one, and they look great. And remember, first and foremost, 
The Walking Dead is a comic story, and I wonder if they're gonna try to replicate some things that Marvel does, like a what if scenario, what if Shane lived and Rick died, or what if this happened, what if that happened? I'm not saying they will, I'm saying I could see them doing that to prolong the Walking Dead franchise and to make it relevant and just do a little bit this and a little twist. They look great, the comics are great, in some aspects, the comics are far superior than the TV show, but it sounds like they're going to do a Walking Dead animated series or some aspects of Tales of the Walking Dead or some sort of way of having Walking Dead animation. That would be pretty cool if they do it in a way like the Spawn animation or Batman Beyond or certain things like that. I think it could work. Now, I doubt it would have 1 million, 2 million, 5 million viewers, but it would be something for people to watch and probably far cheaper to continue on with the Walking Dead franchise. Thank you guys. Stay safe and tell them, Daryl. No, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.